During the birth of Jesus, another baby boy was born by the name of John. He was Jesus' cousin and destined to be a great prophet. John was quite the character. He had a single important message, repent. People thronged to hear and see John. John wore rough clothes and ate strange food. He lived in the desert, and all he did was preach and baptize. He was preparing the way for Jesus' ministry and telling people about this wonderful Savior that would take away their sins and free them. John called on people to change their minds and behavior. He told them to stop sinning, to repent, and turn in obedience to God. Those who chose to repent would be baptized, which symbolized their changed life. John made sure that they weren't looking to him for salvation. He was merely a prophet. Instead, he told them that he was not even worthy to carry the sandals of Jesus. Some of the religious leaders didn't like all the hype and commotion. They were worried that it would stir up the people. They did not fully understand the news of Jesus, since they believed that God would show them first when this Savior was to come. And God did throughout their scriptures, yet they failed to grasp it. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to begin his ministry. That day, Jesus came out to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. When Jesus waded into the Jordan River where John was baptizing, John said, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you come to me? But Jesus insisted that John continue to baptize him. Jesus rose up out of the water, and immediately the heavens opened up with a bright light. God's Spirit descended like a dove and landed upon his head. Then God spoke and said that Jesus was his beloved Son and that he was very pleased with him. All around the shores of the river, the throngs of people saw and heard the voice. Many believed and many were still doubtful. Jesus' ministry had finally begun.